Hello, the game is Terraria. The game that I love, it's one of my all-time top favorite games, and the game that I've called Terraria for many, many years before I realized it was called Terraria. In this video, I will be fighting the Empress of Light on Master Mode in the daytime, so she will be enraged and will drop the Terra Prisma. Before you can kill the Empress of Light, you need to spawn a Prismatic Lacewing, either kill it or capture it in a hollow biome at night. I have my little farm camp set up right in the border of a desert hollow biome and a forest hollow biome. As you can see, I just put a platform a little bit off the ground. I threw a campfire for some regen and a blue candle to increase the spawn rate. If you have the life form analyzer or cell phone, you'll be able to see the prismatic lace wing in your menu when it spawns. Now you can kill it right away and it'll trigger the boss. Or you can capture it with a bug net. It's ideal to have the guide to critter companionship in your inventory. This lets you not kill critters and the lace wing is considered a critter similar to like a grasshopper or a worm or like the truffle worm. One thing I noticed when I was farming the prismatic lace wings was that they tend to spawn in the early evening and not in the early morning. Uh, so what I mean by that is at 7.30 at night, they can spawn. And they seem to spawn pretty frequently between 7.30 and 12 a.m. I've never gotten a single one after 12 a.m. So from 12 a.m. to 4.30 a.m. is the remainder of the night. I've never gotten a single one, so I don't know if that's just my bad luck or if they do not spawn at that time. I've gotten in between two to six of them between 7.30 and 12. So I'm not sure. I think they're, uh, they're early evening spawn, and then when it flips over to the following day, they no longer spawn. I'd imagine that's probably because it's designed that, that you kill them and fight the boss, and the boss will enrage if it becomes daytime. So that's probably why they're only set, set to spawn in the beginning of the evening, so you have some time to kill the boss. But like I said, I would recommend using the bug net to capture them. That way you can spawn the boss whenever you feel like it, at night or in the daytime if you're trying to get the Terror Prisma. The battle arena I'll be using is my minecart. So I have a railway set up across my whole map. This is a large map on Master Mode. It goes completely from one end to the other, and I have rebounds on both sides, but uh, I never needed them. I found that just the whole large map was large enough to get her down. I'm using the mechanical cart, as that's the fastest mine cart. And for armor, I'm using the hollowed set, and that's key to this fight. As the hollowed set gives you a immunity every 30 seconds if you're hitting an uh, enemy. And that's going to be key to surviving this battle where she can one-shot you. Also put on the Brain of Confusion and Ninja Gear as it has a chance to dodge. So in case I mess up, I might be able to dodge attack and stay alive and save the battle. Primary weapon is going to be a SDMG and I'm going to be using Chlorophyte bullets. So they home in on her and hit her while we're traveling at fast speeds. You can spawn the Empress of Light anytime at night or during the day. Um, just pull the lace swing out and kill it. If you're doing it during the day, just make sure you kill it quickly because uh, it does despawn during the day. So you have to release it and then whack it. That's why I was kind of practicing. So you're perfectly safe from any of her attacks during the first 50% of her health. There's nothing she's going to do that's going to hurt you as long as you're going full speed. Just focus on shooting her down and then when she's at 50% health is when we have to start watching what we're doing a little bit. So when she hits 50%, there's only two attacks that you got to watch out for. Um, one, you can jump over, and the second one, you can jump over part of it, and that's where the hollowed set comes in. The damage that you would take and kill you gets absorbed by the hollow set. And she doesn't do that attack very often, so 30 seconds will go by and your hollowed set will reset before she does that attack again. The brain and the ninja set are just there as backups in case you mess up and don't hit the jump right, um, they have a chance of activating and saving you. So when you see her shooting off these lines, that's when you know you're going to need to jump and the sword comes up on you. Let me turn the volume up on the audio cue so you can hear it. When you hear that, you know you're going to need to jump soon. The key here is to jump and clear as much as that sword as you can. I get hit here because my track went down, so that offset my position and it triggered my hollow suit. 
And then when the sword came, I jumped and I jumped poorly and hit the upper sword. And thankfully the brain of confusion triggered its dodge and saved the fight. And then I get hit here again because my hollow suit's already been used and the brain saves me a second time. So very important to equip the brain and the ninja suit. Also, build your track flat. I built this track for travel in my world, not for this boss fight. So I have some ups and downs in it, and that's what caused me to almost lose the fight. Make sure your track's flat. So let's see what I got. I got a Terra Prisma that's better than the other one I had. That's nice. Ooh, the Kaleidoscope. This is one of the things I've been wanting. Uh, this is the best whip. I'm pretty sure it's the best whip in the game, but it's definitely the best looking one. And a Soaring Asignia, which makes you be able to fly forever, which has nice stats on it. My one has four defense. This one has four crit. So I got one for each scenario. So there we go. That's using the minecart to fight the Empress of Light during the day while she's enraged on Master Mode to get the Terra Prisma and some of the Master Mode uh, goodies from her. I'm going to go ahead and fight her at night, um, but if that's all and you're going to head out, I'd please ask you to like the video if you found it helpful. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. It does uh, help my channel grow and it helps let me know what people like, uh, what videos they watch, and where my subscriptions are coming from. So definitely uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you like these type of Terraria videos too. Uh, I love this game. and Like I said, it's one of my top favorite games of all time. Uh, so any excuse I can find to play it is welcome. I'm here at the far end of my track, just waiting for 7.30 to roll around so it's nighttime and I can summon the Empress of Light and fight her normally on Master Mode just to farm some of her items, which I'm about to do. But I just want to say, make sure you have your Guide to Critter Companionship book out of your inventory before you release the Prismatic Lacewing and try to kill it, especially if it's daytime because it'll despawn on you. At least at night, you'll figure out, hey, why am I not killing this thing? But in the daytime, let me show you what I learned through my experience of forgetting to take that book out of my inventory. So here I am practicing switching over and hitting real fast so I don't lose it. And watch what happens. There goes one. And there goes the other one. It wasn't until I was actually farming them again to get some more that I realized I had the book in my inventory. See, I really didn't use too many uh, chlorophyte bullets to take her down either. I was surprised by that. I thought I was going to use thousands. All right, here we go. Going to fight her on master mode, but at night this time. So she's not going to be a one-shot, one-kill boss. Easy peasy. Now let's see what kind of loot we get. 
looks like I used about three quarters of the map to fight her. So a large size map, plenty of room. The Jewel Light, nice. That's a little fairy light source. That's Master Mode Reward only. Let's do a quick comparison with the Tentacle, which was the best light source in the game from Expert Mode, I believe. Let's see what she looks like with some rainbow dye on her. I do need to farm the Empress for some prismatic dye. I think that's what I'm going to do next. I don't know, it looks a little dimmer to me. I don't think it's as strong as a light source as the tentacle. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know if it's not as strong or if it's just the color hue. It's like a... It's a reddish-pinkish color tone versus the whiter, brighter blue color of the tentacle. Alright, time for the loot bag. Looks like another Soaring Insignia. And we got an Eventide, which I think I got one of those before. I uh, haven't used it yet because I didn't have any errors. And last but not least, of course, we got the Empress of Light Relic. Love those relics in Master Mood. Yeah, they do look good and I love, uh, love to be able to collect them. Looks like the Empress drops about 77 gold coins per kill. That's not a bad take per kill. Alright, that's all folks. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to be one of my subscribers, I would love to have you. Please click the subscribe button. Everybody out there, be safe, stay calm, stay healthy, keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video.